Hello everyone. Do you feel butterflies in your stomach when it comes to the speaking section in the IELTS test? Well, I've got your back. In today's video, I'm going to teach you the top strategies to answer speaking part one questions. In today's lesson, I'm going to take you through the test format. Then we will explore the do's and the don'ts. Next, I'm going to share some important tips on how to answer the questions effectively. At the end, we will look at some of the sample answers of three common topics in speaking part one. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end if you want to master the speaking section. If you find our videos useful, make sure that you like and share our videos. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when we come up with new lessons. This is your IELTS expert Sakshi. And now it's time to explore the speaking section. So let's get started. Let's understand what happens in speaking part one. In this section, the examiner is going to have introduction and interview with you. Well, it's not exactly like your job interview. Rather, it is very chill. So they are going to ask you three to four questions on everyday common topics. The examiner is really trying to open you up. So make sure that you perform well at the very beginning. So as soon as you enter the test room, you are supposed to show your ID. The examiner will ask for your full name, right? And the, your entire speaking session is actually recorded. Now, this part is not evaluated. The evaluation begins with the warm-up questions. So your warm-up topics are usually about where you live or what you do. So it could be about your home or accommodation or your hometown or do you work or do you study? After this, there are a couple of more topics and they can ask you three to four questions in each topic. Now, students usually wonder how long they should speak. Well, I would say you should not give too long or too short answers in speaking part one. Let's do some mathematics here. Let's say you are asked 12 questions in three different topics. And usually your speaking test one goes off for four to five minutes, then you can say roughly 20 to 22 seconds answer looks fine. But you should not worry too much about the rigidity of time limit. There's no time limit as such, but you will definitely get the hang of it as you practice more and more. Now, let's keep in mind the following do's and don'ts. You should definitely try to give a good answer. That should have two to three sentences. Never give one word or one line answer. That's an absolute no. Next, when it comes to your lexical resources, try to bring variation in the words that you use. You can use occasional fillers and idioms. Repetition of same words or using basic words can affect your score. But do remember that in speaking part one, the examiner is asking questions on everyday topic how well you're able to have a normal conversation with a native speaker. So do not try to use fancy or technical vocabulary. It can really affect your score. And you should try to have a natural conversation with occasional fillers because they are essentially checking whether you will be on par with the native speakers. Now, never ever give memorized or crammed answers. Answer to the point. Your answer should be sweet and crisp. Do not go off topic. My bonus tips for you would be always show your smile and answer each question confidently. Do not panic if you fumble at any point of time. Lastly, speaking part one is essentially about you giving your very first impression. So if you kick off in a confident way, I'm pretty sure that you will nail it in your speaking part two and three. So let's keep the following tips, tricks, and strategies in mind. And let's see some of the sample answers of common topics. Where do you live? I live in Surat, which is in the western part of India. I've been living here for 20 years. It's a commercial city famous for diamonds and textiles and I really love my city. What's the most interesting part of the city? 
Well, it is one of the most dynamic and fastest growing cities of India. It has a very vibrant economy and is hub to the diamond and textile industry. People here are very friendly and they love to explore different kinds of food. Do you like flowers? Yes, I do. I am fond of flowers which have good fragrance. My mother loves gardening and we grow several flowers. I feel peaceful and relaxed while spending some time in my garden in the evening. Are flowers important in your culture? That's an interesting question. I would say that flowers carry special meaning in our culture. They have been given as gifts for centuries in order to express love for the special people in our lives. In fact, in my country, a large number of people offer flowers to the deity they pray to. Do you like barbecue? Uh, yes, I enjoy barbecue, especially when I go for a picnic at beaches with my friends. Traditionally in India, barbecue is cooked in a tandoor, which is a cylindrical clay oven heated with charcoal or wood. And that gives food a smoky flavor. I really relish it. Do you like to have barbecue with your friends and family? Yes, I love having a barbecue dinner or party with my friends and family. When I do with friends, there's so much happiness and craziness around us because we recall our memories. I get to spend quality time with them and we usually have a whale of a time. If you are planning to move abroad and are confused whether you want to choose Canada for immigration, you must attend this webinar to solve all your PR related queries. If you need further assistance in your Canada PR process and want to check your eligibility, post a webinar, you'll be able to talk to our counsellor who will further guide you in your PR journey. This webinar is on 9th of October at 2 p.m. If you want to register for this webinar, make sure that you check the link for the same in the description box. So that's how you answer the speaking part one questions. Now it's your turn to apply these tips and practice yourself. Of course, Rome was not built in a day, so you must practice daily. If you want more band nine strategies, you should definitely like and share our videos and hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when we come up with new lessons. This is your IELTS expert Sakshi signing off. I'm going to share some more important lessons in the next video. Stay tuned and take care. Bye-bye.